Welcome to another episode of Life and Whiskey. As always, I'm Jordan, and today we're going to look at another Isla Scotch because, you know, my wife and I love Isla, and why not? Um, so we're going to look at a Laphroaig product. So this is Laphroaig 10 Sherry Cask Finish, or Sherry Oak Finish, they say. Um, this is their classic Laphroaig 10 finished in a Oloroso Sherry Cask Um and uh, we'll see what it adds to the Laphroaig. I was going to do a head-to-head -head comparison, but because I'm going to be shooting this video, and then I'm going to do the Laphroaig 10 cast strength next. Um, one problem I have when I drink uh, the Islas is that I quickly become acclimated to the smoke. And so because of that, when I drink and I try and compare one to the next, um, it's really hard to kind of tease out the differences um, because I end up masking about 50% of what I'm getting out of it. So I'm going to do this, do a really good rinse and clean, glass, mouth, whatever. Then I'll do the little Freud 10 cast strength. Um, and I know that that is a little bit disappointing not to have an A-B comparison. Uh, however, it's just, um, it's not really a fair comparison because whatever I drink first, uh, I'll get the full breadth of that. But then whatever I drink second, I'm only going to get half of what that is actually uh, presenting. So, um yeah, we're going to go with the uh, Sherry Cast finish here. Uh, again, my wife picked this up for me um, on her travels back to Indiana. Uh, she picked this up for $78.99, and she bought it at Total Wine. Um, so again, another Total Wine uh, purchase, and again, they seem to have the best prices wherever we go. Uh, I'm sure that is not the case for everything, but uh, in large part, it seems to be true. So, we take it when we can get it. Uh, so this is the new passport, claim your free square foot of the island of Isla. Um, I've tried to bat, you know, tried to redeem that stuff a couple of times. I've given up on it although they said they re uh, instated that program yeah I don't know if you're into that sort of thing check it out I was pretty stoked about it at first joined the rewards program and all that stuff only to find out that they didn't uh, honor any of it so whatever that's worth to you uh, what do we need to know here 48% uh, ABV or 96 proof um, yeah Big fan of Lafroy, same as Ardbeg and uh, Lagavulin. Uh, huge fans of all those. Uh, you can—I don't know if you can see it in the glass, especially with my background there. Um, but it has a good, nice uh, sherry tinge to the whiskey, so it has a nice burgundy or reddish color. Um, <clears throat> On the nose, first glance, got a bit of um, butterscotch, oddly enough. A small hint of peat uh, earthiness, not peat smoke. And uh, a lot of sweet notes. From up top here, you can pick up some of the, the peat smokiness. Uh, so you get a very earthy smoke. And just a lot of sweet, sweet uh, fruit notes in there. Bottom of the glass. That seems to be where the heavy peat smoke is sitting. I get almost all peat smoke with some background sweet in there. So almost reverse of what I was picking up at the top of the glass. Kind of a dense nose, so that peat smoke's pretty deep in there. Nothing's really, really jumping out of the glass. It's kind of subdued. The alcohol's pretty subdued. <clears throat> it's a nice nose. Um, it's just not heavy. On the palate, 
palette is very wood, smoke, forward, and then a really, really nice sweet fruit, sweet cherry, um, not like a bourbon at all. Um, it's just a sweet fruit, you know, that sherry cask. You can tell that that's in there. Um, that's coming coming right, right off the heels of it. The, I have to say the palate on the first sip, extremely short. It was proofy ethanol first uh, for a millisecond, then immediately went into wood smoke, um, campfire smoke, then this really nice sweet fruit flavor, like an obscure fruit flavor, um, but a sweetness in there, uh, almost a honey, finished with a dryness, um, a, a dry tongue feel, mouth feel, but a sweet uh, finish to it. Um, you can definitely pick out that sherry cask on the, uh, the sweet finish, but I would say that that whole taste experience was only a second and a half or two seconds um, and then the longer I sit here and talk the more that smoke kind of just lingers on the palate you can tell it's a peaty smokiness uh, in that lingering flavor but right away very first up front hit was wood smoke campfire smoke uh, very very nice very enjoyable now going back to the, glow, uh, to the nose I get more butterscotch <clears throat> and peat uh, deep in that glass but you get more of the sweet notes kind of coming forward. Um, the fruit notes are kind of a, a dark, you know, everybody talks about like a plum or something like that. Um, I could see that or a dark uh, Bing cherry kind of fruit note, but with a, a sugary sweetness kind of wrapped around it. <clears throat> Again on the palate little ethanol forward for a beat and then right into a very dry hefty wood smoke dries out the mouth dries out your tongue and then you hit this very very nice warm feeling in your throat as the sweet notes kind of perpetuate past that and you kind of get this sugary sweetness uh, mixed with a little bit of a jam quality of fruit uh, going across the palate and then it comes right back into earthy peatness um, smoke that lingers and now I'm getting just the ever slightest bit of seaside brininess um, a little bit of salt kind of lingering on the back of my tongue So as far as exploration goes, it's not really changing a lot. Granted, only been sitting here smelling and tasting for a minute or two. Flavors are kind of all the same, kind of hitting the same beats from sip to sip. Same with the nose. Um, but that being said, extremely delicious. Um, if you like a little bit of a drier finish on your whiskey, uh, this has it. Um, but you know that dryness is only in mouth feel and the ethanol kind of burns in the back of your throat there but as far as flavor goes it finishes strong with a nice peat smoke and a simple sweetness uh, following that up as it just sits and lingers there um, nothing out of the ordinary with it nothing uh, drastically changing maybe if you let it sit for a little while it would change quite a bit but um, I love it. I really do love it. It's it's an excellent expression of Laphroaig, uh, and having now had the standard Laphroaig 10, uh, the quarter cask, um, which is a, a household favorite, and then also the select, um, you know what, this guy's hitting right in there with that quarter cask. Uh, big fan of this one. Um, so again, picked my wife picked this up in Indiana. Uh, at Total Wine for $78.99, a little bit higher in price. Um, let me run through the rundown here, though. 
for the cash strings, which will be the next video, $89.99, so that one's quite a bit higher. The quarter cask here locally uh, in Wyoming, we were able to pick that up for $62.99. Also, that was at a more expensive liquor store. Uh, not the We normally go to the truck stop. That's where we get the cheapest liquor here in town. Um, the Lafroy Select was $47.59, and the Lafroy 10 was $54.69. So um, kind of at the higher end of prices for the Lafroy varieties that we have. Um, but I think it's worth every penny. This is a great sipping whiskey, something that is great for a special occasion. And as my wife and I have just celebrated it, well, just ran past our uh, anniversary. I don't know if you could say we celebrated it. We went uh, back to the Midwest for a family member's funeral, um, which was unfortunate, and we were flying the day of our anniversary. So we had a little anniversary meal at the Denver airport uh, at Elway's. Um, probably one of the the most mediocre or worst hundred dollars i've ever spent for a meal um but hey it's a little bit of something a little bit of a a nod to uh our marriage so uh at a later date we will definitely do something more important uh we'll probably go out and uh, enjoy ourselves for a day um but uh for now that's what we did i uh, did have myself a left hand nitro stout uh highly recommend those um I think it was a nitro, nitro milk stout, actually. Uh, extremely delicious. Left Hand is in Colorado, I think Boulder, maybe, or one of those front range cities. Um, had my first one when I was up in Whitefish, um, at a nice restaurant up there. Um, tried it maybe, what was that? Four year, three years ago, two years ago, two years ago. Uh, really enjoyed it. So when I saw it on the menu, I was like, "Yes, that's one that I will try or have," and it was delicious. So there you go for that. There's an endorsement for Left Hand. Hmm. Um, now we got all. Oh, just got a dark, a dark note in there, like almost like a, a molassesy brown sugar uh, mixed with a, a dark fruit. Um, quite interesting. Let's see what we get on the taste. Maybe that's changed too. Oh yeah, flavor changed immensely on that. Now granted, there was just a, the smallest amount of whiskey left in the glass, um, but it was almost no smoke up front. Um, very much a brown sugar sweetness and a candied sweetness mixed with a little bit of a dark fruit that moved into a earthy peatiness on the finish and that's where you pick up a little bit of the earth but also uh, a little bit of peat smoke touch of brine and a little bit of vanilla like a confectioner sugar vanilla in there um, Really, really enjoy that one. That, that That's a excellent. Uh, so if you pour yourself a glass, you definitely are going to want to experience it start to finish. Give yourself a good half hour to plow through it uh, and enjoy it and experience it. So if you haven't already, please consider liking and subscribing to the channel if you like these reviews. Um, channel is starting to grow appreciate everybody who has subscribed uh drop in the comments down below what you can find a bottle of lafroig 10 sherry oak finish for in your area and where that area is um and any experiences you have with it or any other comments you have uh still able to get back to most people who have commented on videos um so enjoy that interaction as well as boosting uh the algorithm getting videos in front of more people uh so i appreciate all that um and also if you're not checking this out on youtube and you're watching this on bit shooter minds thank you very much uh, life underscore and underscore whiskey on minds.com life and whiskey on bit shoot also looking at starting a rumble channel uh, uh, uploading two videos a week except for like I just got done hunting so I didn't upload any videos during that time to BitChute because I don't have a paid membership there so I have to manually go in every Monday or every Wednesday and Saturday and um, make the videos viewable so uh, you know for times that I'm gone or absent I am not uploading videos there um, they don't quite have the automatic thing that Minds and YouTube have yet, at least not for the unpaid subscription or membership. I don't know what the paid one is. I just, uh, I shell out enough money in whiskey, I'm not going to shell out any more money, um, 
just for the sake of it. So there's that. Uh, anyways, thank you very much for watching. Hopefully you're enjoying this. Uh, hopefully you're having yourselves a great day. I know uh, as I shoot this video, it is now rolling into fall. This is end of September already. Time is kind of flying. Um, but you're probably not going to see this on any platform until early to mid-2022. Uh, but uh, that's okay. It's worth sticking around and watching. Greatly appreciate it. You guys have yourselves a great day. Uh, we'll catch you in the next video where we will check out the Lafroy 10 cast strength. Catch you later.